In last video, we checked our uh, Moveit manipulator package, which we created using Moveit setup assistant for our custom uh, URDF file. And we uh, we checked how to launch the uh, default demo dot demo underscore gazebo launch file cre created by default by the Moveit setup assistant. But we saw there is an error in the ROS controllers. So in this tutorial, we will configure the uh, Moveit package generated by Moveit Setup Persistent to work it properly. So we will go into our uh, folder of that, like I will go to home directory in my workspace in SRC, the Moveit package and in the config folder. If I see the ROS controllers.yml file, you will see here the information is completely uh, incorrect or some uh, the joint names are missing because we don't know what uh, controllers we return for our uh, URDF file. So we need to configure the uh, ROS controller file for the Moveit package manually. So we will close this and you need to follow the, comma, the steps as given in this document. So first we need to open a terminal. So this is the terminal which I opened for the checking. I will open a new terminal. Now I will do it side by side so you can have a track what I'm doing with the document. So just go to your move it workspace. You just directly can go to the config folder of your uh, uh, move it package. So I will directly do that. First type your workspace name. Move it. My workspace name is move it underscore workspace and SRC folder slash your package name because the packages are contained in the src folder of your workspace. So my package name start with uh, move it robot arm sim and I need to go into config folder. Once you uh, completed this di directory, press enter. So we are in the directory of our workspace and the uh, config folder of our uh, move it package. Now we need to create here a new file. Here you can find the command. You can name this controller file anything, but we will just uh, name it as a new underscore ROS controllers. So I will just copy this command. You can directly use this as well. So let's do that. Control C and just Control Shift V to paste in the uh, terminal and press Enter. So what the gedit software does is if there is the file available already, it will open that. If it is not available, it will create and open that. So next, you need to go to the document and you need to copy the uh, complete code from here. Control C, you will use indent. I will show you how and paste it here. You can see the whole the indentation is lost. Everything is in one line. So now what you need to do is you need to uh, take it uh, properly. Again, this is uh, you need to take it on this line because it was the part of the comma comment you can see here it was shown using this blue line but as the we had copied it from the uh, the pdf file it has loosed its uh, lining or indentation we need to add it into that comment line okay so just uh, go into that g editor and it should look like this okay then you need to take this one indent you need to give here. So instead of using tab, you need to use spaces to indent. You need to use uniform spacing for one level. So like uh, I will give my uh, take my cursor here and using spacebar, I will add two spaces one and two. Now this part is of this controller. OK, you can see in the document like the uh, action type default joints and the this is aligned with this n this names n uh, character so you need to go here and now click on this uh, before this action underscore ns and give four spaces one two three four it will align with this name okay again go with this give four spaces in one two three four Again for this one, two, three, four. Again for this one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
one two three four if you accidentally give here one sorry three or five spaces it will give error you need to keep the indentation properly for each level two three four one two three four one two three four you can just do same as i am doing sorry here we don't need to give one two three four we just need to give two because it is new controller you can see you can separate them like this as given in this uh, document or you can keep it as it is as given in document i will keep as it is but here our new controller started so i given only two spaces now here again we need to give four spaces one two three four 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 okay if you use tab i will show you what tab means i will type something here and i will go at the initial and i will press tab you can see tab adds this much of space and yml file don't accept that so you should not use tab you can use two spaces at the place of uh, tab as we do normally again here you need to take uh, care like the uh, move it controller syntax is similar to this you can't use you can use them in the bracket but i will suggest you to keep them as it is you should follow this uh, syntax as it is so so where from these names arrived these are not any new name these are taken from if you go into your uh, src folder of your move it workspace this package we had configured and uh, in the uh, lesson 7 of this video uh, tutorial series we had created a new controller here in the config folder this one so yeah so you can see here we had written some joint trajectory controllers their type is joint trajectory controller so what this controller do is they receive commands from any external source and set the trajectory or the position of the robotic arm in the gazebo simulation okay or in the real robot if you have so we need to give these two names to that move it controller okay so you can see i have already done that you can go into that new ROS controllers file you can see i have typed these names okay and only we need to give the action ns as foil uh, follow joint trajectory uh, type is follow joint trajectory and in joints you need to give the joints that are available for this controller as you can see here there is joint one joint two joint three joint four joint five we will also give here like joint two joint three joint four up to five like but they are added on new line starting with this hyphen and here is only one single space okay and again when we start a new controller we need to start it with the same indentation level of this hyphen with two spaces its name is hand effector controller as available in this joint trajectory controller here again we have used the same uh, type here like follow joint trajectory but there is also a gripper uh, controller available for move it you can use that also and then we added this joint 6 and joint 7 here okay if you have any extra joints in your this uh, controller you need to add them here as well by uh, pressing enter adding four spaces hyphen and new joint name if any but anyhow you can't add any extra joints because uh, move it only supports uh, six degree of freedom robotic arm as per my information i don't know the new move it uh, supports uh, extra joints or not but yeah so we are done writing our controller here the move it controller or the ROS controller just save it and close it and go to your that uh, now I will go into the document because I need to keep track with that also so we have added this okay I have explained in the document what are the name taken from where now the next thing is we need to edit the uh, move it controller manager xml file available in the uh, launch folder so just uh, you need to follow this step using file manager go to the launch folder sorry i have uh, launch folder of your uh, directory or the move it package which we created and you need to search for a, a file having name like move it controller manager in it so you will see here this here if i go 
so the name of the file starts with the uh, robot name that available in your urdf file my robot name was robot underscore arm underscore urdf and later after that it adds only the name underscore move it controller manager if your urdf robot name is different they only this document will start with the name of that robot and else uh, everything uh, move it underscore controller will be same so what this does is it has the list of yml file controller yml files which we need to open when we open this move group dot launch this move group dot launch opens this controller manager we need to open this controller manager open with text editor you will find here it is uh, referring to that old ROS controller YML file which is available in this uh, config folder of your package this one okay but as we have written this new file just click on that click rename and copy this whole uh, name don't rename it just copy its name again go to the editor and you need to replace this with the new controller name okay new ROS controllers and dot YML and save this file i have also added the details in the document you can find in the description of this video the document like you just need to uh, change this name okay now we are done so in next video we will create a new launch file to open this controller as well as the move it simulation okay stay tuned and watch my next video thank you